Kyrie, on a personal note, you have said that you are fasting for Ramadan. How do you muster the energy to go out and score 34 points with very little nutrition in your body? Well, it's a journey with God, and I'm not alone in this. I have brothers and sisters all around the world that are fasting with me. Want to learn the Quran, but can't find a book that's accessible and appealing? Well, that's where Ajmal al Kawaid comes in, the first Qaeda of its kind. Designed and perfected over years. Creative, colorful and comprehensive. One step away from the Quran. Available now on minimoalims.com It seems that even the sign is giving da'wah to the believer. Mashallah, brother! That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> and these uh, creatures are giving da'wah to us as well today. Yeah, or perhaps they're doing the dhikr of Allah because it's Ramadan. Inshallah. But other people that are not having bread or not having food is the UFC star Hazmat Chimayev. Muhammad Bilal, I think he's a UFC uh, fighter as well. And then you have numerous footballers, of course, that are also fasting. And subhanAllah, one thing that actually came to my mind was what they are doing is they are making self-control and self-discipline go viral <laughs> yes yeah and this is the beauty of islam that we can have such an impact because i'm going to be honest with you there's nobody that can tell me to stop eating and stop drinking i'll say for what unless if i'm going to die or if it's a doctor or something even then i'll sneak in a little bit of water or something however when it comes to allah سمعنا وأطعنا. we hear and we obey allah tells us not to eat we don't eat and i'm going to be honest it's very difficult for me not to eat yeah very difficult but when I see people like Hazmat, subhanallah, yeah, this guy, he won his UFC match. They said, oh, he's not, you know, uh, performing at peak performance. But then Cormier was telling us that the, the, the guy, he was fasting when he was training and he's fasting even during the match as well. So the fact that he's fasting, subhanallah, that's control on a whole nother level. Yeah, and that's the discipline that Islam teaches. Yeah, and this comes from taqwa. I see some non-Muslims saying, yeah, yeah, we're fasting as well. But fasting is not just about not eating and not drinking. Yeah, fasting, Allah tells us in the Quran that if you do it with the correct intention, yeah, you do it with the correct intention, then that correct intention, that's what draws you close to Allah. Yeah, taqwa. Taqwa is the reason why we do it. Now, I know the ducks have been really excited in the background. No problem. We're going to go with it anyway. That's fine. Yeah, they're doing their dhikr. That's da'wah for you guys as well, to do dhikr as well. Keep your tongues moist with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, very, very excited. I, I think one of them saying subhanallah and the other one saying alhamdulillah. Yeah, but we need one of them to say la ilaha illallah because that's afdal dhikr. Yeah, that's the elite. That's the best of the dhikr as we know from the hadith. When I hear sports stars like this, may Allah bless them. And uh, amazing. Uh, frankly, I, I am actually in, in awe of them. Yeah, I'm in awe that mashallah they are <clears throat> at that level and subhanallah to put your body through that and they're being clever like I think it was uh, Muhammad Bilal uh, he was saying that he's very cautious about what he's eating and how he's uh, breaking his fast and what he's eating for suhoor he's making sure that he has the nutrients but subhanallah at the end of the day guys it is the hukum of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever Allah says yeah, no matter where you guys are salah time comes you pray your salah whatever situation you're in, unless you're traveling. This dunya, this world, we're here for a short period of time and the guide comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a Muslim is a Muslim at home, they're a Muslim outside, they're a Muslim with ducks. Wherever the Muslim goes, he's still a Muslim. Yeah, it's not just for Jummah prayers, it's not just for Ramadan. Let's bear that in mind. May Allah give us the ability to practice what has been said. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.